Hi guys, today we're going to be building my first ever keyboard. I my current keyboard is a Ducky TKL. It's really old and I wanted a new one because it's it's yucky and it looks really weird. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that today. But as a person that does not know anything about keyboards, I thought about it and I was like, nope, I'm not delving into the nitty-gritty of all of the keyboards. It's just too much for my tiny little brain. My one my one little nut in the in the head is not not comprehending most of the things from stabs to boards to uh, keycaps to switches it's like bro my brain there's too many options it's like having like all of the options and grab but you can't choose where to order it's like that so what i did was oasis went to grand lasson but at the when i wasn't working for oasis i i went around filming myself asking people what i should get for my first ever keyboard so my budget was around 10,000 but I ended up spending around 8 because a lot of the stuff that was on sale on Grand Lasso was actually well on sale. So I got a lot of good stuff for a really good price I think. So I have footage from Grand Lasso. I talked to a bunch of people namely Saniar, Dorgi, Julia, Gosum, Sir Kevs and Rotobox. But most of the footage was Blurred because I couldn't see my screen. <laughs> so, what tactiles do you guys have? Tactile. I didn't have a videographer and I was vlogging the whole way. So, yeah. Before the event, before the event even started, I think Rotobox posted a sale that they were doing for one of their boards. And Julia was the one that recommended to me, okay, you should get this board because they're selling it really, really cheap and it's worth it for the price since they're, you're gonna be there, might as well get it there, okay? So yeah, so that's what sparked the idea. Okay, might as well just build my keyboard there. I'm already there. So yeah, I just started that. So we filmed a little bit of asking Julia what I should get. So uh, I'm here with the Oasis Ulya. Yeah? Yeah. You. You. So I'm building my very first keyboard and I don't know anything about keyboard. So what, what should I get? So what's the first thing that I should get? You should get the board first, yeah, okay. the bare bones if you can. Um, I recommend any Aco Mod series, very good for the budget. Okay. Um, really good quality, has a lot of inclusion. So any any of the Mod series. Okay, okay. So any Aco bare bones, yes? Yes. Okay, so we're going to be looking for an Aco bare bones here in the, uh, at the Grand Lasson. And then after that, we're going to look for switches and then probably keycaps after, okay? So let's go, Tiwala. So I already got the keyboard early in the day because I know, I knew that these things would sell out really, really fast because the price was actually pretty insane. So after that, I went and got uh, Dorgi. First, I asked him what switches I should get because I already got the board, right? I got the board, I asked Dorgi, what switches should I get? Because there's so many options, there's so many like random obscure switches that I don't know about. And instead of just telling me what to get, the man walked me around the whole of Grand Lasson looking for switches and explained to me every single detail about all of them, which all went over my head. So, yeah, that's what happened. But I, I went along with it. I was like, okay, yeah, I don't understand anything. But what do you think will be the switch that would be like, you, can, you can't go wrong, you know? And we ended up at a store named Curd Bro Switches. I have a, I have a calling card here. They told us what they had and then Dorgi explained to me what they had and then I ended up getting the switches there from, Cur from Curd Bro. Thank you so much Curd Bro for assisting us. Hi right, guys, so he we're here with Dorgi and he's going to help me with my switches because I have no idea. There's so many switches, right? Yeah, there's like, actually there's, a lot. There's, there's, there's too many, like my brain can't... I can't mm, it's even, already, it's already. even uh, trust me, even I'm confused. Yeah, to be yeah, honest, yeah. So. so the board that I got is the Akko 008. It's a bare bones. I don't know what's in it. I didn't even. I don't even know what it looks like. So, I got the board from Julia. She told me to get anything from Ago that's bare bones. And then now we're gonna have Dorgi help us find a switches for them. Yes, we're finding so, yeah. switches. So we're gonna go around and look for switches. Okay. All right. Actually, you know, I don't have a color scheme. You don't have a color scheme? No, because I don't have. I don't have uh, caps yet. I don't even right. know the color of my board. You don't know the color. I, have, I haven't opened it. No. This is the board that I got. It's really heavy and I'm holding two heavy things at once. You wanna open it first? You do we open it here or do we open it there? Uh I mean we can open it here so we're already sure. Oh okay. unboxing. I've I've I haven't opened this. 
Yes, so I'm I don't know what color this is. This is apple, so I have a feeling that it's a South Asian, right? <laughs> oh, it's white! It's white! Yo, okay. okay. So that's North facing. Okay. So okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so see, we see the, the LEDs, the LEDs are, are above. Are above. Right? Okay, right. So since you, since you have this, and we've confirmed we, we've confirmed that it is north facing, we can go, there, we can go ahead and get your apple. Oh, okay. We're getting the apple matcha. No, green. not matcha. Matcha green. Yes. We're getting matcha green. Because Blue. we're going we're for linear, right? Okay. So how many do I need to get? Um, you need to, to get two sets of that. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's go. Tara, let's go. We are ready. Let's go spend money. We are ready to get, we are ready to get those Akko matcha greens, you know. <laughs> so this is the feel of a linear, right? It's a linear. Yeah, it's a linear. Oh, okay. So there's no there's no bump. To, there's yeah, no bump. There's no bump, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you try the if you try this one, I'm kind of scared. I also my hands are kind of tired. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So, so these are <laughs> You feel it? Oh yeah, I feel that. Or do you want to try it with keycaps? I think I like that one more. You like linear's more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So it's no linear. no hate no hate with people who have blue switches, but I mean, really? Really? There you go. We're getting it. Here we go. Time and to then spend later on, la later after that, uh, I was on the hunt for keycaps because, well, I already have the board, I have the switches. Um, keycaps are the only thing left. It was very, very late in the event, so there wasn't many options. I first went to Ghost of Gaming Gears because Sir Kevs was there, and I asked Sir Kevs, Sir Kevs, what can I get for keycaps? Because I already have the board. I have the switches. I only need keycaps. I asked, I asked Sir Kevs what I should get. Actually, before that, I went to Saniard. I went to Saniard and asked him, what keycaps should I get? I was asking about profiles because there's a bunch of profiles that I don't understand what the differences are. He told me to get cherry profiles. I was like, okay, cool, great. Get cherry profiles, can't go wrong. I went around. There wasn't any cherry profiles that I could get anymore for the price that I would like. So I went to Ghost of Gaming Gears. He had a bunch of uh, keycaps there on different like looks and different profiles. And I was like, okay, they're like 8K, 9K, 11K. I'm like, so Kevs, medyo mataas. Meron ba tayong below five? <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah. Sabi niya sa akin, okay, go to, go to Rotobox because they probably have something in my price range. May mga recommend ka bang mapupuntahan ko dito? Kasi wala talaga akong alam eh. I think blue, wala I think it's blue, but it's in budget range. Ko. 3K, no? Oh, it's Roto. Kay Roto? Okay. Let's go back to Roto. Okay, Sir Kevs, thank you. thank you. And true enough, I got my keycaps at the end of the night at Rotobox. I also got the board from Rotobox. And yeah, the switch is from Curd Bro. So that's what happened. Uh, Ooh, not clear. bad. One, two. Clear. Clear. Pwede ba tingin? Uy, gawa mo, medyo malapit yun ah. Kasi meron tayong green switches, so kung clear siya, maganda yung labas siya sa ilalim. Ooh! Not one, bad. 1-2. Ito two. lang sir, available. Yung iba, abos na po. Yung may okay mga lang. Medyo ghosted siya, no? I mean, medyo may tint. Pero okay lang. Not bad. Pwede. Sige. Kunin ko na yan. Okay. 1-2? Yes, okay. Okay. 1-2. So we have the keycaps, then we will finish the board, I don't know. Okay, we got our keycaps. They're also Akko. So literally everything that I bought is from Akko. If if you can see this Akko, maybe not. Zani, I want your honest opinion. I got these. Oh, I know these. I've actually seen these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the clear ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them for one two. For one two. Not bad. Yeah, not, that's not bad. I think. Uh, I've seen these uh, on a couple of keyboards already. Uh, yeah. I like yeah, yeah. I got a white board, and then I got matcha green, so I don't know what will happen. Oh, I think that's actually pretty solid. I actually owned matcha greens before. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, with ASA profile, I think it can get like a bit of a deep pop, but yeah. it depends on the board too. That makes sense. Uh, it depends on the board. But... What do you think for a first board? For a first board? Yeah, that's my, this is my very first board. First board to me, a lot of people get like RK. So this is like um, a pretty big uh, Yeah, upgrade. it's good. Yeah, I'm coming from a ducky. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, and then it's a soldered one. It's not even the hot Yeah, 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 no, yeah. it's not. This is, it's this really old. a pretty sizable upgrade. Oh, okay. That's good to hear. Okay, Zani, Zani approved. 
Zani, Zani approved. Oh, we're gonna try and build this, but I don't know. But, tiwala. <laughs> this video is not sponsored, but I do want to thank everybody that helped me throughout this first keyboard journey, namely Oasis Gaming. We are here at their studio today. Uh, thank you so much for letting me shoot here. Um, Grand Lasson for letting me film uh, throughout the event. Also, everybody that helped me there, namely Julia, Dancing Corgi, uh, Saniard, Sir Kevs from Ghost of Gaming Gears, and Rotobox. Uh, they were the ones that helped me get all the things that I needed to build my very first keyboard. And so these are Akko, these are Akko keycap set ASA profile. They are clear. I didn't really have that much of an option, so I might be changing these out eventually. But I really like how it's clear. It's kind of a dark clear. It's like a tinted black with a with a yellow cap with a yellow text. So it, it looks really clean. Here. Cool. Right. Um, my friend said that there shouldn't be any problems when it comes to like compatibility since everything is echo. Here they are. Ooh, I kind of, I really, I kind of dig the, no, the clears, huh? They already look kind of, they already look kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, they also have specialty caps. Yo. Oh yeah, that's cool. And the switch puller. It comes with a switch puller. I have specialty caps, bro. That, they look clean. So those are my keycaps. I'm gonna be using those in a bit. Next, we're gonna go with the switches. Yeah. For the switches, again, these are from Curd Bro. I got Akko uh, matcha greens from Curd Bro. Curd Bro, thank you so much. I got Akko matcha greens. And they are pre-lubed, so Curd Bro already lubed them for me. And that's why I got these at, I think, 600 per box. And I think Doggy someone told me to get two boxes. I forget how many are in one box. Again, with the Aqua Purple box. There's an Aqua Purple box here. Yeah. Aqua Purple box. Yeah. And there they are. Um, quick maths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times one, two, three, four, five. That is 45. 45 keys per, per, per box times two. That is eight. That's 90 switches. Last one is the piece de resistance, the board. It is the mod 008 from Akko. I got this for, I don't even remember anymore, but um, I'm gonna put like something over here, over here of how much things are. Yung Grinig Go is the original price 8K. I may have been lied to, I'm not sure, but I mean, going from 8K to anything below six is already pretty cheap. And the fact that it went down to like four or nine is kind of good. Akko Designer Studio, it's like a Apple box, you know? Like the Apple iPhone box. We already opened this earlier. Uh, Julia was here, she showed me how to lube the stabs, which I'm also gonna do now. I'm gonna show you guys later how terrible I am at doing those. The top of the board here with the PCB and the foam, it's all screwed together. Let's bring that out. Cause we wanna, we wanna show this piece right here. Show this piece right here. There you go, yeah, I got white. You know what's funny? If I bought this at Rotobox, right? I bought this at Rotobox. I just got it. I didn't even look what was inside. I didn't know what the color was until Dorgi opened it for me because I wasn't sure. We weren't sure where the LEDs were on the board, so we had to open it. So I didn't know what it was until Dorgi opened it at last one. <laughs> oh, it's white! It's white! Okay. Whoa, okay, so that's North Facing. A coiled cable, Echo branded, of course. Coil cable, Apple grounded, yeah. And then the back plate here. This is what makes the whole thing extremely heavy. Like, damn, bro. Oh, there's foam. There's more foam. Oh my god, I don't know where these go. I sh I should have asked. Um, we're gonna find out together, yeah. So there's like a there's more foam, yeah. And then there's even more like a thin plastic here. I think that goes behind the switches or behind the PCB. And we get like a, this is like a polycarbonate plate. I don't know where this goes. 
we'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> we, by we, I mean me and Julia, she showed me how to lube the stabilizers on the space bar. So I've already done that one, but I still need to do the other. So that's the, the shift, the enter and the backspace. I still need to do those. I borrowed some Crytox from Julia. This is like her leftover and some dielectric grease. I'm just gonna return these, return, return these after. And the brush, just gonna return all of these after I finish, probably whenever. She says she has another set, so she's fine until I, and it doesn't really matter if I return it or not. No, I will return it on my own. So we have lubed the stabs. The switches are already lubed. So the, the last part here is to just put the switches in and somehow build everything. 3.28 a.m. After a little bit of YouTubing and like messaging people, right? I figured out how I want to build this thing. There's a bunch of uh, additional things, right? And the thing that I was so confused about was what the hell are these screws for? I had like a bunch of these screws and standoffs and like, I, I recognize the standoffs and the screws from like PC building, but like they go into this uh, polycarbonate plate that you replace the metal one that it comes in with. So people actually don't like these or at least the video that I watched didn't like this one. So I was like, okay, let's just copy what he's doing. Cause again, first time building a keyboard, never built a keyboard before, have no prior experience and First time researching what to do. Um, I figured out how to how to do it. I switched over the stabs onto the polycarbonate plate, and I'm now installing all of uh, the standoffs on each of them. And then we're gonna put this on the back foam. There's a back foam, so you don't have to uh, paint or tape anymore. So I might just stick with this. And then I figured out what these are for. These like tiny foam things that come with it in the kit, right? These. Uh, are a replacement for the silicone ones that come on the metal ones. A replacement for these ones. So um, I'm gonna be using these because that's what the dude on the YouTube video did. So I'm gonna be doing that. We're gonna be, we're gonna be doing all of these right now, one by one. So right now I'm just doing, I'm, I'm threading through the screw and then I'm screwing on the standoff. I've transferred it over. I've put the foam on. Uh, I hope you guys can see that. But yeah, I've transferred it over, put the foam on, I put the tape thing underneath, I cut it. I think I have to put this in first. So I have to screw, I have to screw it in. I removed the cable earlier because we were having a hard time. I was, I was getting annoyed by the cable. There you go. Put this on top. Yeah, look at that. That is it. So now we're gonna put in the switches and get those and we're gonna put them in one at a time. And hopefully not break any of them. So hey, they're all there. I can already hear it. Oh my god, I'm excited, I'm excited guys. Alright. The keycaps also from Akko. I'm excited. Oh my god, guys. We're almost there. We are almost there in Nanu Kalat, but we're gonna clean that up later. We have found a layout on a thumbnail on a YouTube video. Thank you so much, people who make thumbnails of a whole keyboard. But we're gonna be referencing everything from there. <laughs> I want to plug it in. I want to plug it in. Can I just plug this into a power bank? I wonder if I can. Imagine I plug this in into a power bank and then I, I, I break it because I plugged it into a power bank. I feel like I'm going to break it. Oh! Yo! It lit up. It lit up. It looks cool. I like it. Yo! It, it has RGB right now. 
I'm definitely gonna change the color of these, but that looks sick. First keyboard, first ever keyboard, not bad, not bad. Thank you so much, everybody that helped me along this insanely long journey. It took like two weeks, maybe even more, because I was asking around before I even started. But yeah, um, thank you everyone. This was a quite a journey. I put I put all of the keycaps. I even put like a few like specialty ones from the keycap set that I got. Uh, there's a cat, there's a dog, and a, I think this is just a jellyfish at the end. And oh yeah, we'll do a sound test. Wait, I'll do a sound test for you guys. I don't think it's the best one. It's the best key like sounding keyboard. But for a first keyboard that I built, like I didn't ask anybody else to build it. Um, it's not bad. So listen to this. Not bad. That tab is that's nice. This is loud. Okay, enter. I think I put too much lube on the enter. Not gonna lie. Thank you everyone that helped me throughout this journey. Uh, Oasis, Zion at Grand Lasson, Julia, Dancing Corgi, Zaniard, Sir Kev from Ghost of Gaming Gears, and also Rotobox, where I got most of the things, except for the switches. Also, Curd Bros. Oh, I keep on forgetting. I'm sorry, Curd Bros. But yeah, um, Sir Kev's, uh, Rotobox, and Curd Bros for all of the things that I bought. Um, I think the final price for this when I uh, when I bought it was like 8,000 pesos, not bad for a first keyboard. I think I think when I was asking Saniard, he told me people start out at around like 5 or 4k. And I was like, oh, maybe I just started there. No, I start here and it's amazing. I love it. But yeah, thank you so much everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I also stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every 9 p.m. Uh, if nothing happens, I always stay updated on Twitter. You follow me there. I tweet funny things. Also on TikTok, I post on TikTok. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you guys uh, on the next video. And yeah, uh, that's it. Bye.